Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can use the criteria range that you have created to perform database functions on the data stored in your list or database. Database functions are much like your typical functions like average, sum, or product, but will only be performed on values in rows that match a certain criteria that we specify. For example, let's say that we wanted to create a sum of all of the amount field for any sale that came in for the month of March in the northern region. Well first we would create our criteria. So let's say north is the region. The sale date is going to be anything that is greater than or equal to 3, 1, Oh, 03 We'll also need a second sale date and this one will be anything that is less than or equal to 33103 03. So first we set up the criteria. Now most of the database functions usually perform your standard mathematical operations but only look for records that match the criteria that you specify. And you can view the various database functions by looking at the database category of functions by clicking either the paste function dialog in Excel 97 or 2000 or the insert function dialog in Excel XP in 2003. In the insert function dialog you can choose a category so here we can choose database and view the different functions. You'll notice that these functions are all strikingly similar in their structure. Most are simply the same function with the letter D added to the front, like D product or D max. For example, we use the D average function to find the average of selected cells. Each database function only requires three arguments. Database, which is the cell range or named range of the list or database used for the function. Field, which is the name of the field or column number of the field upon which you wish to perform the function. And then criteria, which is the cell range or named range of the criteria range which contains the criteria used to decide which rows will be included in the function. So first off, we would need to select the cell where we would want those results to appear. Let's say we wanted to put them right here. We could then type in the function we want or use the insert function or paste function dialog box to select one. So in this case we're going to do equals D sum and then use the open parenthesis. The database is the database list which you would like to filter. After you've selected the database, next you'll need to name the field which you want to perform the filtering by. So in our example, we want to filter the records and then sum the amount field. So in this case, we could put in double quote and then amount. Because the header row is made up of text values, text values in Excel must be enclosed in double quotes when referenced within a formula. Then we type another comma. And here's where we put in the criteria condition. And the criteria is being specified by our criteria range. So just select the range of cells just as if we were doing an advanced filter. At that point, just click the green check in the formula bar or press enter on your keyboard. And here is the dollar value of the sales that occurred in the northern region for March. If you would like to verify it, you could click into the list and do an advanced filter. 
Make sure that your list and criteria range are the same you used for the function. So here are all the sales. If I simply click and drag over them to select them, and then use the auto calculate feature, I can verify that that is indeed the correct information. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!